what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more walking dead today we are jumping into episode eight of <clears throat> season three um last two episodes was great man i did a double reaction hopefully you guys are enjoying those i'm gonna try to do two episodes today but if it's only one then it's only one you're just gonna have to be okay with that okay um been having some trouble with bit shoot but i don't know it may not have that problem this time around so who knows they're taking that my uploads to bit shoot has been taking forever so that's why really and truly that i haven't really been reacting to my tv shows um and like the whole pretty much the whole weekend kind of went by um and i really didn't put out any any content that i can't upload to to youtube um because you know the google drive and the bitch you gotta be ready because there's a lot of people that watch the videos over there I got at least somewhere around you know 50 to 100 people that just watch exclusively on bitch you not necessarily go to the google drive so i have to make sure that the bitch you stuff is ready but it was giving me some problems with my uploads they were taking forever i mean I'm talking about six hours to 12 hours. Got nothing to do with my connection, you know, because when I upload to the Google Drive, everything flies by like that. And I made sure to get um, the last time that I upgraded my Internet, I made sure that the upload speed was just as good as the download speed. So, um, so definitely I know that my uploads has been real quick, um, you know, since I did that upgrade. And then all of a sudden, I think it was on their end, but I noticed that when I when I did Vikings previously, like a couple days ago, um, I came home and I tested it again and it was fine. Tested it again today and it was fine. So hopefully it continues to be fine. Um, I'm guessing they fixed something on their end because I did contact them and tell them and ask them what's going on. Um, they never replied to me, but I guess they probably saw... I don't know, maybe it's multiple please people that was experiencing this um, for for them and not just me. Or maybe they were trying to switch something up, but they didn't tell anybody. But whatever the situation is, hopefully it's back to normal and we can get on with our day. So we're just going to jump into these episodes, man. Don't want to waste too much time because it's been a long time coming. I'll see you guys later, man. I'll see you guys for the review. Let's go watch these episodes. All right, so we got the most intense two episodes that I've watched in this series so far. Um, in episode eight, episode eight was one of the most fun episodes to watch in in this series because they kind of didn't know what was going to happen during the attack. Um, I think they did a very good job with how they pace these two episodes like right now they're knocking it out of the park like the, the the writers are knocking it out of the park right now like they did 10 out of 10 for everything that they did for these two episodes man and i have to say that michonne versus governor fight whew, that was blood pumping i'm so happy she killed that she well she didn't really kill penny she you know Take her out of existence. She, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's not a person anymore. That's a walker. So, I'm not saying I'm happy to see her kill a little girl. That's not what I'm saying. I'm happy to see her take out a zombie. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And his attachment to her was... It's understandable. I understand it. You know? But at the same time, like... You would think that he, out of anybody else, would understand that that's not his daughter anymore. But because he, he, you know what I'm saying? At the same time that he's passing down judgment on other people, you know, he has this secret that he doesn't want nobody to find out about. You know, so I'm so glad that Michonne took her out, you know, and... The fight ensued and Michonne took his eye. I really did want her to take him out completely um, because he's an asshole. Okay? He doesn't give a flying crap about anybody but himself. And that's what I'm saying. I think it was 
uh, um, I was saying that he co- he comes out. He's a very selfish person, and you know he's he's a control freak. That's for sure. He likes when he's in control and not losing. You know what I'm saying? Where he's losing a, a certain amount of his um, clout per se. I don't want to use that word, but still, you know, when he when he's losing that control, you know, you can see the difference with his character when he's losing control. You see, as you see, as he's turning out, you know, I don't know why he decided to turn on Merle. I guess he kind of was trying to get the control back. So he had to have a scapegoat in that sense. But it was still kind of stupid to turn on Mer like that. Ending up, I'm I'm not happy to see. There's got to be a way um, that Daryl and Mer is going to come back into the picture later. Um, so I'm not necessarily sad because I know how, how, you know, when you're writing something, how it goes. Sometimes you got to do stuff like this. Those characters, because if I don't see them die on screen, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a feeling that they're going to turn up later. You get what I'm saying? Like, I never thought Merle was dead. I just thought we would probably never see him in the series again because they kind of made him irrelevant after a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was like past two seasons we haven't seen him. So, it's like we saw him in that, that episode, like, really early season one. Then we never saw him again. So it was really like a moment where you saw him for the first time. You're like, okay, Merle is alive. Um, but I never thought he was dead and was never going to come, you know, was never going to come back. It's like in this in this sense, again, now Daryl is gone with him. So I understand why Daryl leave. Very understandable. That's his brother. So no matter what, where you're going to look at it and be like, if I wouldn't leave you behind... And you, you are my, you know what I'm saying? You are my extended family, if you want to put it like that. Extended family, but we're like, you know what I'm saying? We're family, not because of blood. We're not blood related, but we've become a family, a little close-knit family, you know, of people coming from all sorts of places and stuff like that. We've just, because we've been moving together for this past year, we've become a family. But that doesn't mean that if my family... Even they could be the worst person in the world. That's my bro. So it's at the end of the day, if you had to choose between people, you get what I'm saying? And an asshole of a family, more than likely, you know what I'm saying? More than likely, most of the time you're going to choose your blood because guess what? If your blood is not an asshole to you, you get what I'm saying? If your blood is just an asshole to everybody else, and because as you notice, like Merle is, he's just, he's an overall asshole, but he doesn't, like, he doesn't hate his brother. He loves his brother. Yes, he may run him because he's the older one. He's going to always make fun of Daryl. You get what I'm saying? So at the same time, I, as I said, I agree with him 100% for going with Merle. I don't have any qualms with it. Um, gonna miss him. You get what I'm saying? But I understand. I'm not. Yeah, we can cry our tears and move on. But at the same time, I understand why. Just like how Carol came to the understanding, as he had said before, he said she will understand because she knows me. You know what I'm saying? So she definitely came to, uh, uh, you know, to comprehend what really happened. So I do do understand why Daryl had to leave. And I understand that's his bro. No matter how much I don't like Merle necessarily as a character, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, I still understand why they're left with him, you know? Um, he's an asshole. Because my suggestion was, bring him to the prison. Lock him in a cell. What is he going to do? He can't hurt anyone. Um, I don't think, I think he would have been noisy and annoying, you know, inside the cell. But, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't think he would have tried to kill anyone. Dazriel is like, I don't think he would have tried to kill anyone because they basically saved him. So, I mean, even a guy like Merle can understand that. You know what I mean? So, because he did hear that they came back for him and all that stuff. So, if he still wants to hold a grudge, that would be really petty of him. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I do understand why, you know, that went with him. So, 
the governor, everybody wants to dip from Woodsbury, but Andrea has calmed them down. Andrea is still not asking the questions. I'm surprised she didn't just want to leave too. You know what I'm saying? That kind of puzzled me about the, about how the story is going right now. Like, why don't why isn't she more upset? You mean after you find out that you and you they're fighting against your friends, Daryl is alive. You know what I'm saying? Like, why aren't you upset? Why aren't you trying to find a group you was with? You know what I'm saying? They didn't know you was there. Apparently, they didn't tell you that Glenn and Maggie was there. So, why would you think that they're gonna tell them that you're there? You get what I'm saying? Like, she wasn't asking the right questions, which is, I mean, they're writing her character with a certain kind of dumbness to it that I don't really l like, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, she's always been this mm, not so smart character, you know, that, you know, sometimes she'll have her moments, but overall... She, you know, very low IQ character. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I mean, it's not so far-fetched to write her the way they're writing her. But at the same time, I wish they, you know, you know, you're wishing that she would just ask the right questions and just act like the person, you know, act like a person with sense, if, you know, for what, <laughs> you know? So that's where I stand on that. But overall, man, these two episodes were really good. So thank you guys so much for for, for tuning in that's all i have to say i um, can't wait i think we got like four more episodes left for the season i think it's like 13 episodes for this season um so we got like four more episodes left and we're gonna dive into those but thank you guys so much for tuning in man as always man it's your boy terror by reacts remember to like subscribe if you're new and leave a comment in the comment section man um and leave a like remember to leave a like guys um i need my my walking dead videos to start getting some traction on the channel um but thanks shout out to all of you loyal fans that you know stay to the end of the video and stuff or come back to watch my review man you guys are the real one thank you guys so much i will see you guys later peace